Hey guys, and welcome back to Three Years Deep. So this video is long overdue. I know, I know. I gave, I was supposed to give it two weeks, and like now it's almost two months. So we're just gonna get right into it. These are um, for my uh, answers to the questions that you guys left me on a previous video. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump right into it because. I don't want this video to be long. Okay, first question. When you were a kid, what was your dream to do when you grew up and did you accomplish it? When I was a kid, I have always dreamt about, um, you know, I was always really fascinated with skincare and beauty spas and makeup. And, and um, as I grew up, uh, you know, I, have, I got acne really bad and that kind of drove me more into um, the skincare field. And because I had acne, I started using makeup to cover it. And that's how I got into makeup. Now, um, so question is, did I, you know, what did I want to be? I wanted to be an esthetician. I wanted to be in the beauty industry. Did I accomplish that? I did. I was an esthetician for a couple of years. And then from there, I did um, makeup artistry for MAC. I worked at the MAC counter. So um, did I accomplish that? Yes. But now I have a new... Uh, a dream and it's to create a bath and body care line really I want to do a skincare um, skincare line but I want to kind of wet my feet and want to start off in a bath and body care line and it's something I've been kind of I started researching more uh, now but it's something that I've had in my heart I feel like God put that in my heart um, I would say maybe three almost four four years ago and now it's just something that I okay it's it's time to really start putting this you know letting this materialize so I guess I'm not done I still haven't accomplished my dream okay so that's the first one. Second, how old am I I am 32 how old are your kids my kids my son just turned 10 and my daughter just turned 7 what does your hubby think of your videos he's really supportive you know he can care less about makeup and he's just so happy that i don't have to talk his ear off about the you know the the neatest coolest eyeshadow color and that i can i kind of have this outlet where i can come here and share all things beauty related so he is really supportive i have, have i have a really great husband god has really blessed me and i just love him to pieces uh do people at church know about your channel um a couple about two or three not everyone and what is your diet and exercise routine this question came up a lot I'm actually going to do a separate video I'm not sure when I've, I've been getting this question a lot in the past I would say several months about my eating habits and my diet routine so or my fitness routine and I'm gonna go into further detail on that in a future video okay so wait for that one next this one's this this is kind of funny because this person is kind of making a statement but also asking a question at the same time this person said i could just see you going off on somebody like going all out on that person <laughs> and then they say why can i see you doing something like that so easily what the heck uh so the question is um have i ever had any anger issues or i've been into fights and the question is yes I used to have serious anger issues it's something that God has had to work with me over the years of um, me being a Christian but I grew up a very angry person I was very um, I was kind of mean and uh, I didn't really take I didn't really tolerate anybody's crap if you want to say that word I want to use that word uh, and so yes I was very confrontational very in your face uh, did I look for problems no but when they found me I didn't you know I didn't back down okay so I was kind of stood my ground and I got into many fights yes I did the last fight I got into was I think I was about 22 yeah and I'm 32 so about 10 years ago all right next Okay, it says, please share your favorite scriptures and why. Also, any pastors you like listening to. That's my sister, Rock. I love you, girl. Um, okay, my favorite scripture is got to be hands down Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. And I love the Amplified Version because it is more, much more explicit and uh, I feel like it's much more tangible to me. So I really do like, I like reading the Amplified Version and I'm actually going to read it from the Amplified. I actually pulled out the Bible. It says, Lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all your heart and mind, and do not rely on your own insight or understanding. 
in all your ways know recognize and acknowledge him and he will make straight and plain your paths okay so that is a scripture that I really try to live by on a daily basis it's pretty much let go and let God you know don't worry about your day don't worry about your situation don't worry about what's happening tomorrow don't worry about your bills you know if, you're, if your, your bills are gonna get paid or not don't worry because if you serve God you serve a mighty God you are a child of a you are a child of a king and um, your father's not gonna let you go without so when I see myself wanting to worry about certain things I remember lean not on my own understanding but in everything you know lean on him he will make straight and plain my paths you know when I ask him for wisdom he's gonna guide me the Bible says that the spirit guides you into all truths all truths not some but all so I just really try to live by that scripture that's those are scriptures that really like stick to me all right so also um any pastors that I like listening to I like to listen to one of my friend pastors he is very deep he's very spirit filled and um, when you know when he speaks about the word he speaks about the kingdom when he speaks about Christianity I mean it's all spiritual okay nothing he doesn't minister to the flesh one bit he's really ministers to your to your spirit and to your soul and I just I love that um, I just love that fervent passion that he has for Christ and so I love listening to him he's a personal friend of ours and on TV I like I like listening to um, I like to listen to Joyce Meyer I like to watch Joyce Meyer I like to watch uh, Creflo Dollar I also like to watch uh, Perry Stone from Manifest he is all about like prophetic uh, events taking place and he is very anointed you guys have got to watch him also um, Medina and Oren Pullings I haven't their show hasn't been around in a while but I remember when I first came to Christ I used to watch them all the time and let me tell you they had some fire that's the answer to that question next I, I just wanted to ask you how did you and your husband meet and how long have you been together my husband and I are high school sweethearts we met in high school he was uh, actually one of the new kids he was in a higher grade up than me so I think I was in 10th grade when I met him and he came in his 11th grade year and then we started dating maybe a year after that and we've been together for 14 years it'll be 15 years in April that's a long time and we've been together uh, we've been married five years okay next <coughs> excuse me hi I would like to know what is your job and what race are you I guess race meaning like ethnicity I am Puerto Rican 100% and my job I work for a family outreach um, program and they're a non uh, nonprofit and I just pretty much do like all the office work administrative work I do I take care of like you know sending out for the billing um, and just basic office duties but I do I do a lot with like the insurance um, <coughs> excuse me verification and things like that and what I work at what they have is um, therapeutic mentoring for, for for troubled kids for kids that you know come from you know homes that you know where these kids have seen too much they've experienced too much they've been you know where they've been abused uh, sexually mentally physically um, I work with a team of people who actually mentor them who meet with them you know once or twice a week and they take them out whether they go play uh, sports they go fishing um, they just kind of do these, these activities with them to kind of help better them and make them a better um, uh, a better person you know and as they grow to be a better adult you know almost like a big brother or a big sister all right how tall are you okay I am about five four five five I think I want to say five four next why did you start posting on YouTube um, originally when I started posting videos uh, my heart was set on making skincare related videos my channel was all about skincare that's why I call it three layers deep uh, the three layers of the skin and um, mainly because during that time I, there weren't that many many channels dedicated to um, proper skincare and I kind of I had that uh, that knowledge and info that I really wasn't using um, because I no longer worked at a spa um, and the reason I, I quit working at a spa was because I just my hands couldn't take it the constant manipulation on the face and then the constant uh, massage that you have to do on the decollete, the arms, the hands, and then waxing in between. My hands took a beating, and I just I could not handle doing that anymore. And that's why I started doing makeup artistry. But I kind of want to go back to uh, the origin of my channel, and I want to bring some skincare topics 
up again uh, so I kind of have one or two in mind that are gonna be that I'm gonna be posting soon so kind of watch out for those next también quiero saber si hablas español claro que sí mija yo hablo español yo lo leo um, yo lo entiendo lo hablo pero escribir no tanto este, si tú oyes a mí y a mi mamá hablar chacho se crees que estamos peleando si tú no entiendes español ¿Te crees que estamos peleando porque somos bien, hablamos bien rápido, bien duro? <laughs> um, I just finished saying, uh, of course I speak Spanish. I am 100% Puerto Rican. I can speak it, I can understand it, I can write it. I'm sorry, no. I can't write it that well, but I can read it. I can read a whole page straight up Spanish and I got it down. But when it comes to writing, I can't. And also, like my mom, if you hear me and my mother talk, we're both really loud and fast. So if you don't understand Spanish, you think we're about to get into a fight because we're like loud and fast. So what do your family and friends think of your videos? My fam my family, they don't really they don't they don't really care like they're not no one around me is into what I do no one around me is into like you know beauty and skincare no one really cares in my family my friends the same thing they just think it's cool I guess um that I kind of have this outlet um and so yeah they don't I can't I can't really say that they have any input because they really don't you know they don't they could care less um next part of this question is who inspires you when it comes to video making, you guys inspire me. Your comments, your feedback inspire, inspire me. Watching other um, makeup um, bloggers inspire me. Um, in my own personal life, I have to say God inspires me just to be better and perfect my craft and perfect anything that I pretty much put my hands on. I'm a, I'm a perfectionist at heart, so I really try to do my best to make sure that... Um, that the end product is 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 good and i know i still have a lot of work to get there but i'm working on it so yeah that's i guess who inspires me next are you puerto rican yes i am i just said it um next question when did you become born again and is your husband born again also i became born again i think at the age of 26 and my husband he became born again also i would say like maybe six months after next since you are physically fit would you be friends with someone who is obese i think that's just straight up prejudice for anyone to not be friends with someone because of the the way they look um girlfriend i will be friends with anyone who wants to be my friend if i find you interesting if we have similarities or even if we don't have similarities sometimes it's nice to surround yourself with people who are different who think different who see the world different because that just makes you a well-rounded and balanced person if you're constantly hanging out with people that like the same things you like dress the same way you dress think the same way you think um, you only living in one dimension world um, so I like to surround myself uh, with people that that do have some of my, my same similarities but are also different because I draw inspiration from that also so I guess yeah I guess to go back to the last question who inspires who inspires me you know I get inspired by so many different kinds of people whether it's on TV whether it's on the streets whether it's here on YouTube um, I just I just think different is interesting and I want to know how you think so I would never like not be friends with someone because they're obese or because they're skinny or because they're you know whatever skin color whatever size whatever hair type you have no that is straight up prejudice and I, I don't consider myself to be completely like 100% like physically fit I'm fitter than I've been most of my life um, but I still have a ton of work to do, you know, for my body. I'm still not where I want to be. Uh, so I guess to answer your question is, of course, I would definitely be friends with someone who is obese. That's definitely, like, not, you know, not an issue there, I guess. So um, these were some of the questions that I got. Thank um, you guys so much for watching. And um, I guess I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. God bless you. Bye.